Insert tin coin, sure. Oh, really? It's, it's one of these. <laughs> Legend says the spirit of the dirt known as the Earth Velemental lives in this very cave. It is a mighty spirit, imbued with the power to lift the very ground. It is no wonder that the meek and modest Koopa troop, troop of venerate it so, via pilgrimage and gifts. To one with a creative mind, these fortuitously formed formations, they really like to, to alliterate, don't they? May resemble the earth velemental. Indeed, one may pay respects to its hallowed shell in this very spot, as many Koopa Troopas do. Notably, the earth velemental shell is stouter than its rock, which itself is impervious to damage. It's a bug. Get it. Does that rock look like the Earth of Elemental to you? I don't really see it, to be honest. Yeah, me either. It's said this claw-shaped gouge was created by the Earth of Elemental in an epic battle. Mario? Hey, if it's really you, Mario, you've got to help me. Oh wow, thank you so much. I didn't do it. Alright, it was probably me. I ripped out a bunch of gears and wires and stuff while I was in there. Sigh. I'll just put some coins in and give you the I'll give you the spiel. I mean I already did once. Let's see, where was I? Oh yeah. The thing that this giant gouge in the wall was made by the Earth Elemental. But this part is important. They also say that its claws were like its weakest attack. The attack that'll really get you is when it launches rocks out of its mouth, so uh, watch out for that, I guess. So they're telling me how to beat the boss. The following section of the path has been left in its historically authentic uneven state. Please watch your step. Pay ten coins for that. That one didn't light up. It looked weird. Wanted to see the Earth Elemental. Now I've heard that recording more than 400 times. It gets better every time. Uh, does it though? Bug, get it. Whoa, thanks for that, Mario. Now I can go back to my shop. It's the local fun, funky, and functional accessory outlet. I'm set up just outside the temple. Come see me if you need any accessories, alright? You know, I read a book about this once. Somehow I still don't feel prepared for it when it happened to me. Do not hit, disturb, or even look at the divine image too closely. Insert 50 coins, jeez. Highway robbery. You are looking at a holy image representing the full, glorious form of the Earth of Elemental itself. Although the spirit is fully invincible, kindly direct your attention now to the beast's great tail. In certain tales, the spirit still formable hind portion is described as less than a hundred percent invincible. 
It is this combination of great power and weakness that has endeared the Earth of Elemental to so many. This marks the last spot on the temple tour. Consider donating generously and frequently. Sorry, I was a little late on that. Huh? Is this the end? It's kind of a letdown, isn't it? Hmm, this might be silly, but maybe it's worth a try. Dear Earth Elemental, if you're there, please find it in your heart to lower the rocky pile keeping us from the streamer. Lastly, thank you for all your generous gifts and, um, turtly goodness. Well, that did nothing. Now I'm embarrassed for trying. You should be. <laughs> Mario, do something, please. Well, it said do not hit it or even look at it. So we're looking at it. We're going to hit it. Whoa, you knocked the Earth Elemental completely over. Uh, do you think we'll be cursed now? What's the usual punishment for messing up a divine site? Huh? Is it just me, or is it super drafty all of a sudden? Ah, the caves keep going. Ooh, I can't wait to see what's ahead. It's like a behind the scenes tour. So exciting. Interesting. Go ahead and save. Whoa. Oh no, spikes. At least they gave me a full refill. And then I jump right back off. So much for that full refill. Ooh, look at that. That's way more impressive than anything we've seen so far. I want to climb inside that thing's mouth. Is that weird? Yeah, just a little bit. Let's do it anyway. By the way, I hope this doesn't jinx us, but I feel like we haven't seen any folded soldiers for a while. Well, if I can direct your attention to the floor. Eek! It's like I summoned them. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's see here. Line them up. That went too hard. Well, that worked out better than I had anticipated. above 10,000 coins again. Alright, let's uh, equip another weapon. Since those are getting ready to go go bad on us. Oh! Okay, so you can just walk off the edge. So, so nice, I did it twice. Oh, 
All right. An earth elemental relief. Stay away from me. I guess that works. Okay, let's see here. Line them up. Just use regular boots on these guys. Easy. Um. Okay, I probably have to go up there first. Let's get new boots. Shiny boots. Stronger than iron boots, but can't stomp spiked enemies. Oh, no. All right, how do we line these suckers up? Like this. Like I said, a lot of times it's it's easier than it looks. Battle bonus. Oh, thank you. I can't tell you how long I've been trapped in here. I'm actually the curator of this exhibit, you see. I realized that the divine image crafted from my imagination alone was a bit lacking, so I came here in search of the real thing. Yes, I admit the exhibit is a bit of a coin grab, but I did deserve to, but did I deserve to be folded so harshly by those swoops? Eh, probably. Anyway, be careful on your way out, Mario. Let me out. Okay, so this isn't going to go up far enough, so I do have to go the other way. I mean, I had planned on it anyway, but... Ooh, a new hammer. Shiny hammer. Get those equipped so we can use them. So that's that's gonna push you off pretty much no matter what. Oh crap. Don't see me, turtle. Probably should use, uh, that's not what I wanted either. That's the one I wanted. Ooh, 
rocks. All right. Yeah, fine. Great lineup. Let's use our let's break our shiny or our iron boots here. Free up a slot and make sure we do enough damage to them. See what the shiny boots do. And uh, the shiny hammer, rather. Alright, 17 without a good time button press. Nope, nope, stay away. Stay away. I feel like I need to hit this when there's probably like a toad or something. No, it would have been better to do it the other way, I think. Oh, well. Oh, well. This works, too. Nope. I thought there would be something. Dang it. The timing on that's pretty tight. So we came over here for what reason exactly? I mean, I can see stuff behind there. I see how to get through there. Aha, I see a door. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. At least it booted me back up here. I would have been sad. Stay away from me. Whoa, Mario, these traps are actually on fire. Please be careful. If you get hurt, I hope you remember that you can use Y to use a healing item. I 
And I feel like that's another one that I should probably attack even though I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, I, I really, really didn't want to. <laughs> there we go. this ever become a speedrun game be interesting to figure out how you would route the battles like is every battle going to be the same and you just have to memorize what rings to move or are they randomized each time Oh no, somehow I missed one. Well, so I was just better off avoiding... Ow. Better off avoiding that shell altogether. But you can never tell which one's got a toad and which one doesn't. Run, Mario. Guess that was the way you had to do it. Makes sense. I thought it was a secret. Uh oh. Uh oh. In there. Oh, and I made a perfect little bridge. That was close. You're already pretty flat, but that thing would have really flattened you. Ah, oh, but I should have known you'd figure out a way to get past it safely. Nice one. All right, I hundred percented the holes in the temple. I desperately needed a heart. Max up heart, plus 20. Oh, okay, so that's how you level up. It's a max up heart, hooray, incredible. What does it do? I mean, this is just a guess, but it looks like you've got a bit more HP now, Mario. Is it just me, or do you look a bit stronger too? Wow, those max up heart things are great. I mean, I still think I would have preferred, like, EXP and, and whatnot, but I guess that's not a terrible way to do it. We made it! Okay, Velamental statue, we're heading into your mouth. I hope you brushed your holy teeth. 
I'm not going in there yet. All right, now we're going in there. And we're saving again. Wait, it's just a big empty hole? How disappointing. Where's the earth elemental? We've come so far to see you. Hold on, what's that? Uh oh. So, I'm not the best judge of footing, as we've just learned. Sorry, Mario. I'd teach you how to float if I could. Anyway, I was looking down at this odd green spot before you fell down. What do you think it is? It's probably the Earth Elemental. Be my guess. It's the Earth Elemental, and it's made of origami? Eek, it's so cool. It is pretty cool. Oh no, I didn't think, I don't think it's very friendly right now. Maybe because it's all folded up. When it's like this, I'm afraid we may have no choice but to fight it. Go for the tail. Alright, so this is our first boss fight. Wow, this elemental looks just as powerful as I hoped it would. That shell looks super sturdy and its body must be well protected. Makes those legs look kind of vulnerable, doesn't it? Use the arrows. Hey, this is our first boss battle. I've been itching to try one of these. The earth elemental is in the center this time. Your attacks won't reach from way out here. You have to get closer, but it looks like something weird has happened to the rings. What's up with those arrows scattered all over? Should we follow them? Let's give it a shot. If my hunch is right, we'll need to start with the start. Let's try to place one of those arrows on the space in front of you. Looks like you can select and move the rings just like regular battles. Select the outer ring so you can place your arrow under the red circle on your starting space. Bingo, that's the ring. Now rotate it until the arrow is under the circle and our first move will be in place. Yeah, my hunch was right. Okay, so once you step on an arrow, it'll keep moving you in that direction until you step on another arrow. If we keep that in mind, we'll be able to create a path that puts us right in front of the Earth Elemental. Okay. Oh, the arrows are already leading us to the Earth Elemental? Hmm. I guess getting the right spot is only half the job. What's next? Oh, that panel must be your way to attack. Try placing that action panel under the circle and see what happens. That's it. Now spin the ring and place the action panel under the circle. Way to go, Mario. You've made it to the Earth Elemental. Now it's time to attack. Let's see. Different attacks are probably going to affect different areas. Try to aim your attack in an area where it won't bounce right off. Okay. Use a shiny hammer. I think one of the toads in the background said something about tutorials. Yes, you would have bounced right off that hard shell, but attacking his legs seemed pretty effective. Enemy's turn. Uh-oh. Oh no, I think the Earth Elemental is winding up for attack. Try to guard against it at the right time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, Mario. You still took some damage, but it could have been a lot worse. Use the arrows. 
Uh, aim for its right front leg. Okay. Yeah, I'm already lost too. So we want that there. We want this. Oops. Well, that's not what we wanted, is it? Okay, so I've only got two ring moves. So we want that there no we don't I don't quite understand That's not what I wanted to hit. And I guess we'll attack this one then. It's not the one you wanted me to attack, but... But I was running out of time. Yeah, just like that. Use the arrows. Looks like you've got the hang of boss battles. Remember to think about the timing and targeting your attacks. Those other panels look interesting too. You should see what happens when you walk over them. Now let's go win us a boss fight. Okay, we got three moves. But actually I could just do it here, I think. Should be fine. Earth Elemental Shell is super sturdy. Jump attacks will always bounce right off of it. Aim for its exposed limbs instead and get up close and personal with your hammer. I can't attack anything but the shell. Well, that's... That's sad. I guess I didn't take that into account when I was picking my path. Okay. So we want to attack this foot. Well, I ain't gonna do what I want it to do either. That'll do what I want it to do though. Put a healing in the way. And then a letter in the way. The Earth Elemental's tail is its weak spot. Successfully hit it will make it fully retract, retract into its shell. Enemy's turn.
All right. And now we're getting the hang of this. This one's considerably more difficult than regular battles. Reset that. I want to stop at the tail. That should do it, I think. Wow, its tail must be super tender. Whoa, what's up with the Earth Elemental? Its legs are tucked inside. This might be our chance to try a cool move. Ooh, is that... It's... It's a thousand-fold arms magic circle thing. <laughs> if you can get that magic circle, you can activate thousand-fold arms. Probably works the same way as action panel, so try to place it at the end of your route. Okay. So... That should do it, I think. I have no clue what any of that did for me, but okay. Magic circle on. Now, Mario, give it all you've got. That was an overall easy boss fight. Yes, you did it, Mario. I wasn't too bad. Huh? Did it just shrink down into something tiny? It looks like it shrunk down into a book. Probably get to learn something. The Earth Bibliofold. Did you somehow turn the Earth of Elemental into a book? I, I believe that's what we did. Oh, it's instructions for folding into the Earth of Elemental itself. Ah, maybe this is its way of helping us. Let's see. Ah, yes. Mountain fold here, a valley fold there. Whoa. Just have this strange feeling like the spirit of the Earth Elemental is, is inside of me. Nope, it's inside me. Ah, maybe we should try using that magic circle. Nope, it's inside her. How do I look? Powerful? Imposing? Magnificent? Maybe even a little cute? It's like I'm the Earth Elemental. 
It definitely feel powerful. Look, I could really shake things up in here. All right, you know what? I'm gonna dance it out. Oh, please don't. What came over me? It was so fun to wield all that turtle power. I guess I can use any magic circle that belongs to the Earth Elemental now. Hey, that means I should be able to lower that tower back to a reasonable but still scary height. Yeah, I thought that was a hole that you could pound to get coins or a toad out of. Get in the pipe, Mario. Thank you, Mario. Hey, didn't anyone ever teach you not to step on the gods? You step on your god, you get a divine punishment. Hey, I'm worshipping here. I really don't want to hear it. Ah, I was just getting the hang of being a bug. Had a great little hiding spot picked out to freak out the next pilgrim. Hey, we rescued all the toads. Rattle, rattle. Keep on knocking on the rock for good luck, but my luck's still on the rocks. I mean... Yeah, it makes perfect sense. You saved the entire crew. Now we can get to work maximizing profit off the whole thing. It's a miracle. Welcome. Well, we have to buy this. We need to buy all the collectibles. What is this? You want that one? Why would you want that one? If you want it, it might be valuable and therefore it's not for sale. But it, it looks different. I want it. Alright, I'm not gonna buy any more of these. Oh, I might buy another hammer, I guess. Since I still have plenty of room for those. Popcorn, popcorn, get your fresh popcorn. Just 100 coins a bag. Coming right up. Oh no, it's more toads. Poor toad. We popped all the corn, pal, sorry. A new device is ready to assist you in battles. Oh, the VR boss battle simulator thing. Yeah, I'm not interested in doing more fights than I have to. Fun, funky, and functional. You want accessories? We've got accessories. I will take them all, please. And that's it, we're sold out. Don't worry, we'll restock in a bit. Oh, and don't forget to equip your accessories. 
already forgotten. So it looks like you can put one in each category. And I imagine these are the weak ones. These are stronger. These are stronger. Probably. Welcome back to the Earth Elemental Temple. We're back in business. Don't be shy about donating. I already spent all my money on you guys. Uh-oh. Hey, Mario. Can we see if you got stronger when your HP went up? Bet you you could beat those Goombas with a single hammer strike or jump without going into battle. Oh, uh, that'd be nice. Oh, that's... That's really nice. I like that. Thought I saw a toad up there. Wow, that was that's how you get when things down that are stuck in trees. I am finally gonna get back get that kite back. That's how you get things that are stuck in trees down. I can read, I swear. So I wonder what all that entails. Could I kill one of these? Nope. So it's just the weaker enemies like Goombas and whatnot. heal up. And avoid... Oh, no, 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 no. Avoid everything we could possibly avoid. There a toad. Hmm. I'll say I already did all these, I thought. Maybe it's up there. It's probably that. I never did jump down. Alright, so how do we get down there? Nope, not that way. Now this is ringing about a toad that I missed or something somewhere. How do I get down there? Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll come back to you in a minute. I'm rescuing toads. I was on the grasshopper team in high school, so this really worked out for me. Give me the money. Oh no. Wasn't quick enough. Well, this one's an easy lineup. And I haven't used any items, so let's try to use an item, see what this does. All right, and then I should be able to jump here. Wasn't over far enough. Try to go see what this box is about real quick. Here then? Yep, here. Yep, there's the toad. The real question is, am I the first toad to pop out of a question block? No, don't think you are the first. bell didn't go off this time so the one that it was ringing for must I must have gotten all right let's uh fix this this tower we'll watch it one more time and then I'll skip the rest of them Because it is kind of a cool cutscene. Alright. Shake it like a piece of outdated photographic paper. It's funny. Well, not bad if I say so myself. You did, though. You did say so yourself. Yes, someone finally read the fine print on the back of the sign. Now I'm saved, and you're aware of the sign's limited liability and full terms use and, use and conditions. I mean, I didn't, didn't read the fine print, but... But good try, though. Good try. Overlook Tower. 